Hey everybody, Go Blue JD here. I'm here to do a review on a pretty cool product from CDO. It's the, I believe it's pronounced Obex or OBEX. It's a waterproof case. Um, I opted for the holster combo as well. This is for the Apple iPhone 5. Um, as you can see, there's the case and here's the holster. We'll get back to that in a minute. And then just for comparison, here is the, I believe, OtterBox commuter. Um, just to give you guys a difference in size, it's a little bit smaller. It's about the same width, as you can see. Uh, but height-wise, the CDO is much thinner. I'd say by, what is that, 4 millimeters maybe? Um probably look at the specs um, but yeah it's about I would say four to five millimeters thinner than the OtterBox um, so basically what we'll do is um, I'm going to install it you first there's this latch here that you pull off and I might have to break this up into two videos because it is kind of difficult to um, get it on but then you twist this you're supposed to put a coin in there I'm going to go off camera here for a second Man, it just popped off. Let me just show you. There's a little place here when the case is together that you put your finger in and you can pull it off. So basically, there's the case. Um, let's look at the base real quick. As you can see, there's padding in there. Some other things too. Um, so first you begin by taking your iPhone and it says you're supposed to put in the um, buttons first so you slide it in and you push it in and then also there's this red gasket that goes all the way around the phone and basically you have to make sure that it's all in there nice in the groove that's what I'm checking right now just to make sure everything's in there because when you sandwich it in you don't want the o-ring to get caught so that's that I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can here um, it says you put the top in first, so you do that, and then that snaps, that snaps. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good for my first time here. Um, it does say before you put the phone in, you should do a liquid test, where you actually submerge the case to make sure it's waterproof. Uh, I have not done that yet. Um, I saw that there's a lot of people questioning this case and how cool it was and I wanted to get the video out quick so so anyway and then when it's done you pop that in and there you go it just snaps in so now you have the case the phone's off I'm gonna turn it on real quick for you this is my son's phone uh, I have a Spigen Glass TR installed on mine and it will not fit in there because um, this is engineered for no screen protector or anything. It's got one built in. <coughs> um, while that's booting up, I'm going to read you all the details of this thing. What it can do, it's just unbelievable. So bear with me here, but I'm going to just kind of go through the features real quick. Basically, it's waterproof. Um, it exceeds the IP68 rating, signifying that it is both dust tight and protected against complete continuous submersion in water. Critical points of entry are blocked by a two-stage protection system. Uh, it's got an anti-reflection glass that protects the camera without interfering with the photo quality. Mm -hmm. uh, it's waterproof. Um, membranes shield the microphones and speakers while maintaining sound quality. I'll also play a song on there so we can see it. Um, it's drop protection ex exceeds the MIL STD. Dash 810G test, which evaluates the case from four feet drops at multiple angles. Uh, I'm not going to really go through all that stuff. It basically protects it from dropping at four foot. You can go to their website and check that out. By the way, it's cdoonline.com. And um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going to look up here. I, I believe they actually have a uh, website where you can actually go to uh, that just deals with just their phone. Uh, case for this, uh, and I believe it's www.obex.com. I'm trying to verify that here. I should have had that before I looked up. Um, actually, it's www.seidio.com, 
slash O-B-E-X slash. Um, that'll take you right to this case-specific portion of their website, which explains everything. So anyway, um, this thing is just unbelievable. Uh, I actually wanted it for myself, um, but the more I'm looking at this, it's seventy nine ninety five. It's it's expensive. Um, it was eighty nine ninety five with this holster. Uh, I opted just because I, like I said, I was getting it for me. Um, but I think I'm actually going to let my son have this, and I might get another one here in the future for myself. Um, he, right now, like I said, he has this the OtterBox case, and he saw this, and he's like, I want that. And I really honestly don't need the protection that much, um, and I don't mind him having it. But anyway, so let's get back to the phone. So the button up here at the top, um, it's weird. It's like a hard case, but then that is actually... It can turn it on and off. It's kind of it's kind of cool how it's built in. Uh, there's no SIM port. There's that place I was telling you about where you put the quarter in to pry the case apart. Um, how you charge it is you pull this piece off here, and then there's a little release that you pull out here. Let me show you. There's the headphone jack, and then the charger port. So that's all encased. It's dust free and we push this back in here. Um, so then you just close that back. Uh, it's got the mute. You have to pull this out to get to the mute. As you can see, you pull it out and there's your mute. And then of course you push that in for there or the volume. All the keys work fine. No problem. Let me open this up real quick. Um, Home button works just fine, no problems. Volume up and down, no issues. Um, the home button is a little tad hard to push, but it's no different than uh, the OtterBox or any of the other ones, I'm assuming. Yes, he's a Green Bay fan. We live in Chicagoland, and go figure. So anyway, the Apple logo throws through. Um, obviously, I'm not going to put this in the water right now to show you, but... I have no doubt that it works. I'm probably going to do a test later uh, and submerge it and see it. Um, here's the case. I thought it was kind of cool. It's carbon fiber. It's got a lock, so it can't open. And as you can see, that's locked. And then when you push this, it unleashes it, so now you can put it in. Uh, I don't know if any of you are case fans, but ever since I've had a BlackBerry, I've loved their... That's why I love CDO products, because they were the first one to have a holster like this for the BlackBerry. Um, so anyway, they've come a long way. This thing is major heavy duty. I mean, I could see a Navy SEAL carrying this thing around. Um, perfect, no problems. But anyway, it's got the lock on it, so you put that up. The phone will not, no matter what you do, push on this. I mean, I'm, I'm trying it, will not do it, to pop it out. Undo it. There you go, pops right out. Um, the case or the screen is actually pretty neat. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got these little dots in it. You can't see them when the case is on there, but if you kind of look at it at an angle, you can kind of see little dots. It's kind of dirty. I was messing with it. You can see my Red Wing logos there in the background for my son's room. Uh, but anyway, um, I I actually kind of like the case. Um, I was really thinking it was going to be like his outer box and thick and bulky, but man, I'm telling you what, this. I mean, just the comparison. You can just see it right off the bat. And even if you were just to look at this area here, because it kind of the case kind of bows out a little bit there at the top. I'm assuming that's for the camera uh, stuff they have in the back. Um, but man, I mean, it's just so much thinner. Let me do it this way. That's probably the best way to do it for you. I mean, that is significantly thinner than the OtterBox and uh, right when he got his iPhone I picked him up the OtterBox because you know he's a, he's a 12 year old and um, man I didn't want to have to worry about his um, you know phone getting damaged so uh, he saw this he wants it I'm gonna give it to him I'll probably get another one but I highly recommend this again it's a CDO OBEX a waterproof case. Um, I believe if you go to that website I mentioned, the cdo.com slash obex, they actually show them tossing it in the pool. Um, so I, I, it's crush proof. I mean, I, there's nothing I got to worry about. It. I, the only thing I got to worry about this now is my son losing the phone. Um, you know, that's it. Other than that, 
I mean, I'm I'm not worried about I mean it, it it's there. It's working. I I'm I highly recommend this product if you're in an environment where you need to protect your phone or you have a kid that could easily drop it or you know how all those mistakes happen and it's not that obtrusive. It's very thin, even thin for me. Um So anyway, I highly recommend it. Go out and get it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate uh, to leave comments uh, down below in the YouTube video. Or if this is posted on any website, um, I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, hope this helped you. And uh, I'd go buy it. If you got 80 bucks laying around, which a lot of us don't, but trust me, this will save your phone from damage. All right, everybody. Have a good one. Go blue. And uh, enjoy the Super Bowl next week, guys. Take care. Hey everybody, uh, Go Blue JD here. Um, as I ended that video, I got a phone call, or my son was receiving a phone call, and it occurred to me you guys are probably going to know how clarity sounds through this phone. First of all, on a phone call, I can tell you absolutely no difference whatsoever. And then here we have, um, this is my iPhone 5, and I'll play the song from, we have the same songs on here. So here's, um, I think, Maroon Phone 5. And then... That's that one. Sorry, I was blocking it. So that's mine. It's muffled a tad, but you can't really tell. Oh, and mine's... So anyway, you can tell there's a little bit of a difference, but nothing major. Um, so in any case, uh, I just wanted to touch base with that so you guys could see. Um, it might be noticeable to some people, but um, being completely encased and you can drop the thing in water, uh, you have to decide for yourself what's more important, um, protecting your phone or being able to listen to your music like you know through the speaker. Um, so I can't honestly tell you one way or the other because I, I don't really listen to music too much it's usually through my truck or through headphones um, but I don't think it's that big of a deal um, you can barely tell but you know there's some might be out there that can I just wanted to give you guys a um, an instance where you could see and hear the difference so you guys can make your own judgments um, for me no big deal if it if it's muffled a little bit but like I said protection is more important to me so anyway uh, again have a good one and go blue